to be full bill professionals berate Mieti Anla over comments on Labour Party candidate. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. The recent comments from some others to discredit P2B has been condemned by Fulani Professional Group. According to the professional group, the Miati Anla does not speak for the Fulani tribe in Nigeria. The group also stated that Fulanis in Nigeria would vote for competence and capacity in the forthcoming 2023 elections. The Fulani Professional Group Coalition of Fulbe Professionals in Africa, COFPIA, on Monday, August 15th, distanced itself from a statement credited to the Mieti Anla Kato Ho. The Mieti Anla Group has said that the Fulani nation would not support the candidature of Fulbe, describing him as a tribal bigot. Newspaper reports that the organization called on Nigerians to disregard any statement from Mieti Anla saying it did not speak for Fulani ethnic group. COFPIA in a statement signed by its national president, Prof. Mohamed Gidadu and Secretary Hajiya Maru Madibu, said, The Fulbe all over Nigeria will not be blinded by that political sponsored statement of Mieti Anla anymore. The Fulani people are wise now and cannot be used as tools of extortion and religious sentiment anymore. We will enlighten our people to vote for competence and capacity come 2023. We will never vote for any candidate who has nothing to offer. We have gone far beyond religious and ethnic sentiment. We will vote for a president that will tackle poverty and acute hunger that have held our people hostage for so long. We will vote for a president that will fight insecurity with every commitment and unbiased mind, no matter who is involved. Our respected tribal group, Mieti Anla, should channel the campaign to redeem the bad image I've created for Fulani people in Nigeria, rather than casting aspersions on P2B, who has demonstrated capacity to rescue Nigeria from the current hopelessness. Meanwhile, in other news, 2023, Labour Party says suffering Nigerians are their political structures. Recall that the national chairman of the Labour Party, LP, Honorable Julius Aburi, recently called on Nigerians to ignore insinuations that a party has no structure to win the 2023 presidency. Presidential election, adding that suffering Nigerians are the Labour Party structure. Aburo stated this at the Northwest One Day Mobilization Sensitization Program with national office officers in Kaduna State. Represented by the National Secretary, Alahadi Umar Farouk, the national chairman said the program is aimed at sensitizing and mobilizing more supporters to ensure they go to the polls against all odds for the success of Labour Party and Obi Dati movement. In other news, P2B Obedient movement driven by the masses, says Ume. Meanwhile, on a spot, the Anambra Central Senatorial Candidate of Labour Party in the forthcoming 2023 election, Senator Victor Ume, has declared the obedient movement is bigger than Ubi. He said the movement is now bigger than Ubi himself because it is driven by the masses. Ume added that Ubi is very influential, stressing that the Labour Party presidential candidate will get more support across the country. Well, let me say this to us. First of all, um, I am, should I say, I am kind of happy that we are gradually winning people over. If this news is anything true to go by, that the Fulani, some members of the Fulani group or members of a Northern group are coming out to say things as they are. Sincerely, now we say this talk all the talk every time. At least it the enter people here, sincerely. Because at this point, if we don't have people who are waking up, I don't know when they won't wake up. All. This time around, even picking with it for Bele, don't they feel the heat of this kind of Nigeria, the kind of heat within Nigeria? I did tell you. Sincerely. No problem. Make them return back to the country. We don't want to now vote. Meanwhile, remember to take on our brother Buhari along. On our life, on our life violence. Me, I see a lot group. Nobody send them. They're just talking for their own selfish interests. And that is what these people came out to be saying. They came out to say that uh, they came out to say that uh, at the end of the day, 
they came out to say at the end of the day that they are not they're not looking at what they're they are looking at competency capacity and credibility somebody who is going to come and make nigeria a better place for all of us for all of us and that is it is it is to me a good well well a good well well as any sweet my belly if this if this particular news is anything to go by there's only fools that will believe them not that are in the best position to tell their story after buhari regime hmm. all right buhari government has taught everyone a big lesson including if you, including the conglomerate, everyone thinking Nigerians will cast their vote will be that. Well, sincerely, um, sincerely, let me let me say this. Huh? It goes with me if we don't think along this line. In fact, my greatest happiness would be that Nigerians are not coming to see that we are victims. And that we deserve better. Do you know there are some people eh, in this country, me and you, they will be saying, no, no, say there is more to life. Do you know that? That the people there think that life is all about, revolves around what they're saying. Not only me and you, we be say, even if we never, you know, we don't see, now we want more. So it is easier for those people now that they believe say now life now that thing maybe where they they maybe they know they even see light maybe they know they even see good road they believe say as they use day now so life be they no believe say these parts of Nigeria they will be say there's light and electricity there's running water I they tell you for this country it is going to be very easy to to those people to play on their ignorance because they no know now. Those people, they, are just, they don't just know that there's something called, you know, a better place for them. But if those people find out, like I already say, you have go gas for some people. A whole lot of people. All these policies of religion and ethnicity will take us nowhere. We all deserve a better life. Yet he and life should have a rethink and take a bold step and vote confident. So that the brothers, brothers will be useful rather than following cows up and down all right <laughs> well like i said it is good you go switch my belly well, well if at the end of the day this is really really happening you go switch my belly in fact you go even switch my belly say make everybody be politically aware i made them know say we know the, as in this thing where they give us call them good governance no be good governance you never even reach good you never even see good governance i don't talk on before if we get to experience good governance <laughs> We go one week our our people don't die. We go one go great go week then say ah, I be saying that day they see as Nigeria you sweet. I just wish we are going to be here when it all happens. All right, and this note we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>